Hey, what's going on YouTube? Beast of Vistar here, and today, guys, I want to show you my uh, Northern Realms deck that I've been playing with, and I gotta say, the deck is fantastic. It does really well against the black deck and those stupid fucking cows. But let's jump right into it. Okay, so for the start, we use the Red Indian Knights. Uh, I love playing these, these cards against the uh, weather decks because it keeps, like, for example, if they use a Frost, in each turn you take one damage. Well, every turn that he doesn't have a shield, he boosts himself by two, gives him a shield. So every time the shield's gone and it, you know, the turn start, he keeps powering up by two. So it's really effective against weather decks. Um, I use the nine elect for the um, the, the boost ability to keep things boosting, because um, a lot of decks they can put a lot of big numbers on the on the field, and I, you know, so if I don't have Reaver Hunter, who's the main strategy of this deck? Uh, all the time, then you gotta use something to boost up numbers. So I used the Nihilic -like for that, and now coming over to the Reaver Hunter, who is the uh, MVP of the deck. He is insane. Uh, the numbers that you can put on here. Like I've had, uh, I just had a game against the Black deck, and I think I beat him 86 to 64. Uh, I, I even got up into the triple digits. It's, it's not too hard with a uh, Reaver Hunter. And uh, I use, for one of my first goals, I use Shawnee for the resurrection. And just in case I have a Reaver Hunter in the grave or something in the grave that I can use, uh, I think it's very helpful. I use the Kira um, for, well, she gives you a couple choices. The Thunderbolt Potion does help uh, bolster your uh, your units up even higher. Keen Sign as well gives you a shield or Epidemic to kill the lowest units on the, on the plane here. And to help with the strategy, I use the Operator. I'll, I like to start off with him and a Reaver Hunter in the turn one and then just play him, make a copy. That way if I do ever get uh, Hensult out, I can have up to four Reavers at one time. It's pretty nasty. And then we have the Reaver Scout, which duplicates any different bronze ally. We have uh, a good help against the, um, the black deck with the cows is Medic. Because she'll swap them out for one of your units, or even swap into another cow, and you can put it on their side of the field, pretty trolly. And then I only use two of the reinforced trebuchets, just because I wanted to cut down on deck size. I try to stay under 30, um, but these are helpful at, at helping keep numbers low on their opponent's side of the field. And then we have uh, Death Mold. Uh, Death Mold has the ability when he's deployed, he can either bring out Torrential Rain, Azorus Thunder or clear skies so it's really helpful I, I played it against a player who uh, we both have Ragnarok and I activated mine and uh, he waited until I brought out Reaver Hunter and he activated his and I just summoned death mold and brought out clear skies and while he was sitting there taking nine damage every turn I wasn't taking anything so it's pretty fun uh, and then we have Naneki. Naneki is like the um, if you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's kind of like the Pot of Avarice. It like adds cards in the graveyard back to the deck. You don't get to draw anything like Pot of Avarice, but uh, it does help with uh, once you do a Reaver play to recycle them. You just bring out an Aneki, and uh, and then hopefully you'll have you'll open up like a reinforcement or uh, the double cross or maybe even a first light to try to get the Reaver uh, back to your hand. Uh, so that's the only downside is that you, if you don't have something like this or this then you're not guaranteed to have it in your hand unless you draw it and get lucky. Um, speaking of that, we do have, uh, I can't pronounce his name, Dijkstra. Uh, he's pretty good. Uh, you, you, he's a spy, so you play him on your opponent's side of the field. So you do give him four, but you get to draw two cards, or will play two cards. So it, it's, uh, I've only had uh, one instance where this is useless, and I actually played the card. I had three Reavers on my field, and I just was, I was trying to get into something, I think I was trying to get into uh, like a, a weather card or, or something like the thunder, and I ended up getting into a scorch and it killed my reavers, so <laughs> it does backfire. Um, but we do use uh, one Azura's thunder, uh, destroy a unit by seven, uh, clear skies or the rally, use two of those. Do like the white frost, it puts uh, two rows of frost on your opponent's side field. Um, Azura's double cross. So this is helpful in two ways for me. Either I can turn one, play this, and get my operator, and then spawn a copy of this. Or, in late game, when I've played this a number of times, and I have a spare one in the deck, I can 
play it and ensure that I'll have a, a Reaper come out. He'll be pretty strong. He usually comes, uh, I think I've had him at like 12 to 15 uh, when I play it like that late game. And then we got Reinforcement. It lets you uh, play a unit from any unit from the deck. Uh, I think it's only bronze and silver, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't let you play golds. Uh, and then we have Ragnarug, which is, in my opinion, uh, one of the best uh, weather cards. Um, it applies three damage to each row with the highest unit. Uh, and it keeps going on and on. So it's awesome. If you can uh, manage, basically, take advantage of your opponent with this card, it's awesome. And then the leader of our deck, we have Hensel. And when he's deployed, he summons all copies of a bronze ally. So again, if I have. If I do the operator play and then bring out an extra copy, and then say I do a triple reaver, so I got one in the deck still, and then I uh, brought him out round one, so we won round one, okay, and then it goes to the graveyard. Next turn I go Neneki, and I bring three of those back, and then I play like one of these or something to get it out, and then round, because we usually wait, we usually use the the level two guys right here for him if I have if I only have if I only open one in hand then the first game will try to use these to get the other ones out you want to save your leader Hensel for like round two or round three depending on how you're going so the next so we do the Neki we send three of them back and then we play uh, just say we play double cross and we get another one so he'll come out and say he's like a 12 so then we summon him, he'll go to 13, everything else, I think, I don't, I'm not sure if they keep values in the grave, I think they go back to 6. So they'll go up to 7, uh, and then you'll play Hensel, and then bring out the other 3. And you can either put them all in the same row, which is not necessarily good, um, because of this card here, Igni. Yeah, don't kill them all, or at least 3 of them. Or... You, unless you're trying to get the trio play. Now he does have a trio effect where if there's three on the same, at least three in the same row, and one of them's not locked, because I did run into that scenario, it's kind of bullshit. Uh, it damages the highest enemy by half. So if they have a 10 on their field, it's not gold, it'll go to five. So it helps, you know, keep your numbers high, keep the numbers low. If you're, if they have a bunch of golds on their side of the field, and you feel like you're gonna get an Igni play, just stack them in each row. Because they're they're in any row card, so you can put them in row one to three. So you can just put them, you know, dab them there. That way you don't have to worry about the Igni play. But if if you feel confident they're not running Igni, then by all means you can just get that trio play off again. Cause I love I love doing the trio play. I always, I'm I'm the worst guy when I try to read the Igni. I'll go ahead and tell you that because I'll be like, oh well, uh, they got a twenty on the field. Let me let me <laughs> let me have that. Uh, but this is the deck so far. Uh, tell me what you guys think. I'm, I'm fairly new to the to the game, so if you guys have cards that I should be playing, hopefully they're not too expensive to make. Like I just made uh, Kira today. I had to kill. Basically, I've crushed every other card that I have, like uh, any other color. Like I only use blue because I don't feel like paying money for cards. And uh, this is what we have so far with that. If you guys have any um, any recommendations, will be helpful. Um, let's see, gold wise, I think I need to get a dandelion, but um, working on that. I think that'll be the next card that I try to add and test with. Um, as far as anything, if you guys have any suggestions, I'm all ears. If you guys like the deck, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you for stopping by today to check out the video. Be sure to subscribe because we'll put more more of that awesome Quint. Because this game's awesome as hell. I can't wait for it to come out in full release. Because right now it's, it's in the open beta stages. Uh, I got to play the closed beta and now it's open beta. So now we're just waiting on it to be a full-fledged game. This game's, this game's fun as shit, man. And it's I think I hear it correctly. It's free to play. So it's not like you need to do anything. You can buy kegs kegs open card you know give you cards and stuff you can do that but you don't have to so i mean you could farm you know you could play a whole shit ton and you know get enough 
or to open kegs. I mean, that's, that's not nothing wrong with that. And then leveling up, and you get kegs too. So it's, it's you know, either way, it's still fun as shit. But this has been Beastie Ishtar. You guys have a great day, and and uh, we'll see you next time. Humans have no place in Broccolon. And the Catwin attack! This is no time to win that. But we're broke as shit peddlers. I hope we can trust you. I told you so, you idiot. This is no time to whimper. You're there! You will sweat like a swine in that jacket. What do you want of me? You one of us or not? You will sweat like a swine in that jacket. I'm a dwarf of business. Thank not me, thank my little eight. Peace with humans, I buy the ass.
Let's get this over with. Men of Kedwin, attack! Let's go. Don't recognize your old mates. There will be no negotiation. Nature stinks. I'll never be 